You are all welcome to the plantain and banana breeding program in ITA and you are right now in the tissue culture lab which is used to support plantain breeding for food security. So in the tissue culture lab, we use tissue culture techniques to germinate our seeds from crosses through what is called embryo germination or embryo rescue. And we also use it to do micro propagation to produce large numbers of planting material. And at the same time, we use it for conservation of genetic resources that are used for breeding. So I'll take you into our culture room to show you what we do in this lab. Here is our tissue culture room. Tissue culture is a process where you grow plants on artificial growth media inside test tubes. Here, we use that technique to germinate seeds from crosses. These are seeds from crosses. You know, as a breeding program, we make crosses to bring in resistance from wild material to the material that we want to improve. So when we get the seeds, it's normally difficult to germinate. So to facilitate that, we put them in tubes so that they can germinate. We can pamper them well in the lab so that they can germinate easily. So here is a fresh embryo. Here is a, a, a one that has germinated. And when they germinate, we multiply them so that we can get plants that can go out in the field. In this lab, we also multiply plants so that we can get large numbers of plants. So we get a single sucker from the field and remove the heart or the inner portion and put it in tissue culture. And after about six months, we can get up to 1,000 plants. So you can see that we increase the multiplication rate using these techniques. So these are the various stages you go through until you get a rooted plant that can go out in the field. When we produce rooted plants in tissue culture, normally we take them out for acclimatization or winning in this greenhouse. Now, another method for producing large numbers of planting material is macro propagation, which is simpler than tissue culture. So I'm going to take you now to the macro propagator to show you how that is done, after which I take you to the greenhouse and show you how plants from both methods are acclimatized so that they are ready to go to the field. We are now here at our macro propagation facility. As you know, plantains are uh, propagated through suckers. Their planting material is suckers. And a big problem for extending plantain fields is the lack of good quality suckers. I showed you tissue culture there, and now um, I'll hand you over to Trogon to show you macro propagation, which is another method that is used for producing good quality planting material. Trogon, please take over. Thank you, Dr. Delphine. All right, guys, I'd like to show you some activities happening in our immediate chamber. As you can see, we have about um, four immediate chambers here with a capacity of about um, 200 uh, combs that could be planted here. So the first thing, uh, you'll have to go to the field, get your eldest soccer, like uh, a medium soccer, a short soccer. Those are the two types of suckers you can actually use Then you carve. So from there, after you have um, picked your sucker from the field, you carve carefully. Because while carving, if you don't carve very carefully, you destroy a lot of buds that are expected to sprout from this um, chamber. So after all this is done outside the chamber, then you come with your combs of about 200 in this kind of capacity. By before then, you must have um, gotten your medium where you plant them, where you grow them. We don't use soil because if you use the soil, after watering of frequently, it could become an art pan. So we use media like um, sawdust or rice husk or whatsoever. But before you actually do that, you must have sterilized your sawdust also. So after this is fed in the humidity chamber of about one foot, you water very intensely. So it has a lot of moist. Then you bring your combs, the capped combs already, you drill the epicamary stem, which is meant to grow into a big plant. After killing the epicamary stem, it gives chances to all the lateral buds by the sides. 
So those lateral bar is what grows into all these plantlets. And in one comb, it grows up to about 40 to 60 plantlets in about three to four months. So it's really a technology which helps farmer with less cost to produce a lot of planting materials which are healthy. And most, one, one of the most important thing about this um, plantlet is that they grow at the same time. When you take them to the field, there is 80% guarantee that you harvest at the same time. So one of the process of um, growing the plantlets and harvesting them, it can come closer. As you can see, we have, um, this is a scientific um, purpose. For commercial, you actually don't need all this type because each um, chamber could be dedicated for a variety of plantain or banana you are growing. But for um, research purposes, we can grow as many as 10 to 3, I mean 10 to 15 different varieties. So while doing that, you have to make use of your tags. So you don't have, at the end of the day, mix up varieties. That is why you see all these white pegs. So, but for commercial purposes, in the chamber, you can have just one single variety that you grow. So for this case, um, after you have grown the, 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 the comb, this comes out in about two weeks. So after it's sprouting, I'd like to show you, sorry, how it sprouts. Yeah, this is exactly what goes on in the media. This is the comb I was talking about. Now there is something we call secondary decapitation. After this is being drilled as a mother comb, then they start coming out. Those first daughters coming out, it can still re-screw as secondary decapitation. So you can have maximum plantlets at the end of the day. And this is how it comes out at the end of the day. So anytime you have about two to three leaves, you come with your sharp um, um, apple knife to pick all these plantlets carefully with your sterilized soil and your planting bags. So after it's been picked and put into the bag, then you now move them down to the winning center, which is the screen house. Thank you, and I hope you understand everything I've said so far. Okay guys, we are now at our screen house. As you were with Trogon there, Trogon told you when the plants are ready from the propagator, they are brought into the screen house. Previously, I was in the lab and I told you when the plants are ready from the lab, they are brought to the screen house. So here is the place where we do winning to prepare these plants that have come out from the lab or from the chamber so that they are ready and strong enough to go to the field. From the lab and the chamber, they are like babies. So we keep them in here because here the sunlight is reduced to about 50% and then as you can see there is an insect netting which prevents insects from coming in. So these plants are safe to be pampered here so that they develop well to go to the field. Because they come up from the test tubes and the chamber which is very humid, we transition through small pots covered by plastic so that we retain that humidity for about two weeks and then we open it up so that they get stronger and once they are stronger we put them directly in planting bags as you can see here and then we nurture them in the soil which is already sterilized there's some poultry manure so that they can grow so when the plants are at the five leaf stage with a reasonable stem we can take them out to the field for planting so Thank you all for coming. Within the past few minutes, we've shown you some of the things we do here in the plantain and uh, banana program, and we hope you enjoyed your stay.